should we open? Over the week, many unknown sources related to Chris Broussard have alluded that King Greco will be purchasing Russell Westbrook in hopes of adding additional firepower to his arsenal. He'll need all the help he can get as he advances to the final rounds of the 2013 sports commentator's March Madness. As you can hear from the background, absolute pandemonium from fans on both sides of YouTube. Now, let's tune into this first game. As you guys have seen, I picked up a new 22,000 VC gold player, Russell Westbrook, and I told myself that if I was really serious about going far in this competition, I needed to grind. So I spent all week long playing offline and online blacktop, offline quick games, the Facebook and the phone app, so I can make sure I can get a good player to take me for this competition, and I'm going to unleash him on this unsuspecting guy right here. So we are only down two. We can get a stop right here, or we can all guard JaVale McGee and leave everybody else wide open. What the hell are you guys doing? Alright, I really like a stop here. I don't want him to gain any more confidence than he's already gathered. And why did I just double DJ on the drive? That was so st Oh, he missed it! He missed it! He fast breaking! Oh, he's way ahead of everybody! You know what's coming next! Oh shoot, you know it ain't a Greco gameplay till you've seen it self oop. I love those, they build so much momentum and they're so exciting and I know he mad and- Hold on, how did he just- What?! I'm mad! Well, how did he? Ah, oh, missed another open shot. Augustine against the center? Oh, he gave it to JaVale. Give me that! We're going down court. Another fast break. Over to my new player, Russell Westbrook. Back to my starting center! Oh, God! That was a hard dunk. Man, this possession's going nowhere fast. Oh, pass out a shot. Oh, no, no. Come on, guys. Let's get. Ah, oh, the transition defense, boys. Transition defense. Ah, oh, he's. Ah, oh, man! I don't need that right now. Oh, well, that quarter's over. I really gotta do something different. I'm not trying to give up no 88 points in one game. You gotta be kidding. Well, Russell didn't really do much of anything, so let's go back to our old captain, Patrick Mills. And let's go back to that old faithful pick and roll. That was a deep three-pointer, but I needed that. We're back in. Pass it back out. I'm still there. Great team defense, boys. Uh-oh, it's fast break time. Uh-oh, it's a three on two. It's a two on one. That's what I'm talking about, but a little more power next time. Man, that turbo's gonna be the death of him. Oh, and Barnes versus Barnes. Who better to guard you than you? Fast break. One on two. One on one. A little more power. That's all I wanted. Thank you. I'm telling you, that turbo bun's gonna be the death of him. He's running directly into JaVale with DJ. Like, what, what was supposed to happen? Was I gonna get posterized or something? I'm gonna go swerve on your charges right here. That cheesy defense ain't gonna stop me. Ah, uh, another pair of charges. And time's running out of the quarter, so I'm gonna give it to my new superstar. I paid all this money for you, you better perform. In traffic, buzzer beater, Westbrook. I didn't expect Gerald to make that, but it's my turn. Get off of me, DJ. Get off of me, JaVale. Get off of 97, Kobe. All right, let's get this back to the point guard. This possession's being wasted. Oh, wait, he's doubling me with two players guarding the wrong position. Gerald, wide open from behind the line. Yes. Time bring out the possession. Let's give it to our star player. Spin move. Oh, he drew the double team. Wide open. Three. Yes. Yes, we are now up by eight in the third quarter. Oh, is he rushing? Oh, he's rushing. You don't turbo in the backcourt. I told you that turbo was going to be the death of him. Wide open. Oh, he got me. He got me. No drive today. And I'm in your face. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. No points off a turnover. Stop him. Oh, JaVale. All right, guys. Don't triple team bums. Watch the cut. Get in the way of that. Good defense. Oh, come on, somebody. You got to box out. Come on, somebody. Come on, superstar. Do what I paid for you to do. Wide open. Yes. Of course that didn't count. I can't catch a break right now. He's driving. Oh, crap. I missed the steal. Oh, he really has the momentum on his side, and I need to do something fast before this game gets out of hand. I'm not here to lose this in the fourth quarter. I'm the king of the comeback. I'm the prize fighter. I've seen the 12th round. This guy's an amateur. He hasn't seen past the fourth yet. He's been in battles. I've been in wars. Adversity ain't nothing new to me. It ain't nothing new to me. Good take, superstar. Only down three now. Crap, another double team. He made that. I don't care, though. It's not over. I didn't hear no bells ringing. I didn't hear no fat lady singing. I got two and a half minutes left. It's not over yet. It's not over until it's over. You missed that shot. We fast breaking. No charge there. Pump fake. T. Ross. Yeah. Only down by two. Need one bucket to tie it. I'm not out of this yet. Game breaker, baby. That had to be it. He missed the free throw. We got a chance to take the lead. And alley in the fourth quarter. Who else would do that? He's going to have to foul me. Oh, he's going for the steal. He's going for the steal. Wide open paint. Yes. That's game. That's game. Wizards win. The king of the comeback does it once again.
What up, YouTube? You already know who this is, so we're just gonna jump right into the commentary. This is an enhanced online ranked match between me and Football JD52. He took the New England Patriots, and he wasted no time starting this scoring fest off. Have you guys ever been part of one of those games that you just can't stop the other person? Whatever they're running, you can't stop it. And whatever you're throwing at them, they can't handle it. And this is exactly what this game ends up turning out to be. And since I took the Detroit Lions, you already know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be feeding this rock into the robotic hands of Calvin Johnson, a.k.a. Megatron himself. <laughs> He's big, fast, strong, powerful, he's got great hands, and he can probably do the backboard alley-oop better than King Greco. <laughs> but like I said, this game is back and forth, swing for swing, and right here he has Brandon Lloyd at the right sideline, and he ends up taking it down at the 10-yard line, which sets him up beautifully for a makeshift screen to Shane Vereen, who ends up getting into the end zone right there, giving him a 7-point lead. My turn, though. First down, eat dirt. Second down, find a job and best up the middle for the first down conversion. Early in the second quarter, I'm feeling a little ballsy, ready to take some chances. Play action. He's half man, half machine, but he is all up in your defense's grill. First and ten, Calvin Deep taking a shot. Get off me, puny human. And just like that, tie ball game. So he gets the ball back, and this this guy using the Patriots, man, he was stressing me out because he was running the ball. He was running, 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 and when you have a quarterback like Tom Brady, you just expect the pass. And he was having great success with it, but you go to the well too many times, and that shit is bound to dry up eventually. We end up forcing a huge turnover, claim the ball, claim the lead, let's go defense. That's good and well, but we know our opponent can move the ball, and he's been hitting us with that out route and burning us on it a couple times this game. So you know what? Make a quick adjustment, and boom, we got... Oh, we drop a pick. Man, that sucks when you make the correct adjustment, but EA just does not come through for you. So he ends up converting, moving down the field, and right here he ends up flushing out of the pocket. That three-man rush could not get to him in time. He converts another first down, moves him to the goal line, but I'm able to get a body on him and hold him to three points. So that's kind of a win for me. So I take a couple sacks, get forced to a third and long, and here we go. I'm tossing it up deep to the right, and no! Right. That's what you get when you force it to somebody other than Megatron. Next time, give me the ball. You got it, 81. I make a bad read, and I get caught slipping right there. And he ends up getting to the red zone pretty easily. Pounding with Shane Vereen, and then he hits Aaron Hernandez over the middle, takes it in for a touchdown. And just like that, he's back in the lead by three points, 24 to 21 in the third quarter. Matt Stafford drops back, and he hits Brandon Pettigrew down the middle. He's got to see him, but this man is not adjusting to the vertical passing game as we test him here. That was pass interference. Well, I don't know about all that, but uh, we make the most out of our second chance. Hit Mike Thomas on a post route to the left hand side of the field. Uh, looking for a third and 12 conversion right here, Matt Stafford. Looking around, but ends up beating dirt. At least we didn't throw an interception, and we take our three points and get out of there alive. 24 points across the board here. We're looking for our defense to step up and make a play, but he hits Julian Edelman on the left side of the field, and in front of him, grass in front of me, ass as he goes into the end zone. Getting into the fourth quarter, time is growing thin in this score fest, but we're able to hit Nate Burleson up the middle, and if this man's not adjusting, we're going right back towards his weakness. <laughs> You are no prime. Calvin Johnson is just going off in this game, and my opponent refuses to double cover him. But right here, Brady finds Edelman on a nice little out route and wiggles all the way down to the 30-yard line. Somebody get a body on him. It seems like every offensive move I have, he has a counterpunch for it. And right here, he does that with Gronkowski, wiggles and jukes past my defender, just embarrassing my defense. But you know what? Coach Mike D'Antoni says the best defense is a great offense. Now, I'm not necessarily saying D'Antoni's a great coach, but we're going to have to adopt that philosophy if we want any chance of scrapping this game out as we end up throwing deep to Calvin Johnson the out route, and with the two minute warning coming up, somebody please tell my opponent where this ball's going. This ball is mine. Megatron hit the afterburners and just laid out for that pass. Giving the ball off to Mikel is sure he's able to pound it into the end zone and tie this game up with just under a minute left in the ball game. At this point, my defense needs to step up, get big, and get this stop right here, and we're gonna send this game into overtime. We get the pivotal coin toss, Go big or go home, we give Calvin a shot. The pass is up deep, Calvin's one-on-one. -on -one. What a catch, what a game, but I'll be taking those skill points. But hold up, you see something right here? Looks like that's King Greco getting worked on. <laughs> T-Bag. 